the sprawling volcano shows no signs of erupting, magma is building beneath the surface, fueling hundreds of geysers and other hot phenomena. In a new blog on its website, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory reports on the new steaming feature in the national park, illustrating a dynamic landscape that is constantly evolving and thrilling. While driving south from Mammoth Hot Springs toward the Norris Geyser Basin early on August 5th last summer, a park scientist noticed a column of steam billowing through the trees and across a stretch of marsh. Yellowstone National Park geologists Jefferson Hungerford and Kiernan Fultz Donahue wrote, The eagle-eyed scientist alerted the park's geology team to verify whether this was indeed new activity. This steaming hydrothermal vent is located at the base of an ancient lava flow, and geologists measured its temperature at 171 degrees Fahrenheit. It could be new activity from a steaming feature previously discovered nearby in 2003. The vent has remained active this winter but it's dimmed as water has poured into the hole. But come spring, it could be back to life. Activity at these features waxes and wanes over time. Some of them even get more active. Sorry, we can't help it, the geologist wrote. For now, Yellowstone remains a low-risk volcanic hotspot. Sure, there are occasional small eruptions fueled by hot water and steam, but most of them are impressive hot pools and geysers, a reminder of what's possible in the future. Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption was about 70,000 years ago, and it wasn't a mega eruption on the scale that would have left ash over much of the US. Of the last 50 or so eruptions, almost all were simple lava flows, the USGS explains. If one were to happen tomorrow or next year, the immediate impact would be minimal outside of Yellowstone National Park. If magma were to once again erupt from deep within the earth and fill Yellowstone's shallow underground reservoirs, an eruption wouldn't come as a surprise. We'd have decades, if not centuries of warning. The moving magma would trigger a series of violent earthquakes, and the ground would undergo massive deformation. But such new features are commonplace in a volcanic world that's constantly changing. New research reveals why the famously steaming park, home to more than 500 hot geysers, shows no signs of erupting. Right now, the magma reservoirs, molten rock, that feed Yellowstone contain relatively low concentrations of magma. They don't contain enough volcanic fuel to generate the heat and pressure that would trigger an eruption. We can say with certainty that this area is unlikely to be the source of an eruption in the present. Ninfa Bennington, a research geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey, who led the study recently published in Nature, told Mashable, There are several reservoirs, or pods, of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera, which is a vast basin that formed during a massive eruption and dramatic collapse about 631,000 years ago. You can think of each reservoir as a sponge, full of pores. There's some magma in these pore spaces, but they're not nearly saturated. Someday, these sponges may fill with magma and reach a critical percentage where tremendous pressure builds underground and triggers an eruption. But right now, 
there's no threat of an explosion. To understand what's happening in these critical magma reservoirs right now, geologists are using a technique called magnetotellurics. Unlike radar or sonar, scientists don't create or emit signals to see what's outside or below. Instead, these surveys harness currents naturally created by Earth's electromagnetic field. And magma, because of its composition, is very good at conducting electricity, allowing for insight into what's happening deep beneath Earth's surface. The survey, in addition to revealing Yellowstone's inability to host an eruption at this time, shows that the most primitive magma flowing from the Earth's mantle into Yellowstone is directly connected to a reservoir in the northeastern region of the Yellowstone caldera. This suggests that this northeastern region could become the center of Yellowstone's volcanic activity in the future. But there's no evidence that the reservoir is filling up. It could take a very long time, Bennington said. If magma were to once again erupt from the Earth and fill this shallower reservoir, an eruption wouldn't be a surprise. We'd have decades, if not centuries, of warning. The moving magma would trigger a series of violent earthquakes, and the ground would undergo major deformation. These parameters are well monitored, so there would be ample warning of a potential future eruption, the U.S. Geological Survey said. For now, Yellowstone remains a low-risk volcanic region. Of course, there are occasional small eruptions fueled by hot water and steam. However, most of them are impressive hot springs and geysers, which remind us of what might happen in the future.